Hello everyone, my name is Himanshu Sharma and in this video we will be discussing upon Spring Boot application using HATIOS. HATIOS stands for Hypermedia as the engine of application state. These are the points as per wiki and I would like you to focus on the third point. A REST client needs little to no prior knowledge about how to interact with an application or server. Now let's get into the code. Let's say you have a controller and you have defined three endpoints get user, get all, and update user. The get user will return a specific user, get all will return all the users, and update user will just return a user updated string in the response. So now let's run our application. Our application is started. Now let's hit the get user endpoint. So if I hit the get user endpoint, I'm only getting the user information response. And I know that, okay, get user, I'm setting the user ID as one, two, three, and I'm getting the user object. But what else I can do with this server? I have no clue. I don't know about all the other endpoints available. And for that, HATIOS comes into picture so that when a user makes a request it should not only get the response of that particular re uh, request but also some additional information regarding the other endpoints which are available and can be used how we are going to do that let's visit our application so i'm stopping the application right now let's start with the build.gradle file so if you see over here we have only one dependency hios so if you want to create your own project you can do that and the only thing you need is create a Gradle project, Java. And the only dependency we need is this one, Spring HATIOS. That's it. Let's get to the entry point class, Hypermedia REST application. We are not making any configuration changes over here. We have created a user.java, a simple DTO. It contains three fields, user ID, first name, last name a constructor, get a setters, and we are extending a representation model class, which we are getting from the HATIOS dependency. So you can see over here, the only thing we need is to extend our DTO with a representation model. Now let's go to the data store folder. Over here, we have a utility class user store and we have two methods in the in this get user get all users get user will in turn call get all users and just return one of the user from that map get all users will return a map of users now let's see user controller dot java over here we have a get user method which is using the utility user store and fetching a particular user based on the user ID and we are storing it in a response user local variable. Why we are doing that? Because we need to add links of other endpoints into this response. So let's uncomment our first link and try to understand what's happening over here. So what we are saying is in this object we are using an add method which we are getting from the representation model dependency using this method we are making a link to a method on user controller dot class which is this class and when we are saying method on we are specifying the method get user which is this method and then passing the user id because this method is expecting a user id and then we are saying with self rel i will get back to with self rel once we see the response and now for the other two let's uncomment these two this one is adding a link for get all users endpoint with a name all users and the second one is using update user with name update so if you see over here we are adding links to our response 
which we eventually send to the client and these links are the endpoints which can be used by the client for other operations. So now since we have uncommented this code, let's save it and run our application. So our application is started. Now let's again hit the same endpoint, get user. Now you can see over here, we are getting this underscore links object in the response and inside underscore links, we are getting a self with href of exact same URL, which we have passed because this self href is actually referring to the same endpoint. Then we have all users for the get all endpoint and update to update a user. Let's use the get all endpoint. Let's copy it and paste it over here. Send. And you can see we are getting all the list of users. Now let's get back to our get user. Get user ID equal to three. And let's revisit the response over here. So what's happening is we are actually providing the links of other endpoints which client can use to perform other operations. And also we provided custom name for better readability, like update all users. So in this way, you can add many more uh, endpoints as per your requirement. And the client just needs to know about only one endpoint. And based on that, it can get all the other and possible endpoints of your application and can utilize them as required. Now, if you remember, we use with self rel. So with self rel is actually referring self over here. So if you get back to the code of the user controller, we specified over here with rel all users, we specified over here with rel update, but we do not specify any self over here. We instead use with self rel method. So it will eventually make a self object and put a href over here. Now it's not mandatory that you use the with self rel only for this purpose. You can include other links also inside the self, but it's more about uh, being logical and more readable. Now, instead of using different names, you can also use same name, let's say other APIs and then use the same over here. And save it, restart the application. Let's hit the endpoint again. So now you can see both the href are come under other API. And it's an array. Because we are linking both the href under the same name other APIs. Let's revisit the project again. We have entry point class with no configuration. We created a user.java domain which is extending a representation model class. We have a user store utility class, which contains only two methods, get user and get all users. We have a user controller in which we are linking up the other APIs inside the response of get user endpoint. And for all of this to work, the only dependency we need is Hetios. I hope you get the idea of Hetios. That's all in this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please put them in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching.